Hey, it's Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So excited to have you here today. We are in Proverbs um, chapter 10, verses 11 through 20 in the NIRV, the New International Reader's Version. And it says this, The mouths of those who do right pour out like a fountain, but the mouths of sinners hide their evil plans. Hate stirs up fights, but love erases all sins by forgiving them. Wisdom is found on the lips of those who understand what is right, but those who have no sense are punished. Wise people store up knowledge, but the mouths of foolish people destroy them. The wealth of rich people is like a city that makes them feel safe, but having nothing destroys those who are poor. People who do what is right earn life, but sinners earn sin and death. Anyone who pays attention to correction shows the path to life, but anyone who refuses to be corrected leads others down the wrong path. Anyone who hides hatred with lying lips and spreads lies is foolish. Sin is not ended by using many words, but those who are wise control their tongues. The tongues of those who do right are like fine silver, but the hearts of those who do wrong aren't worth very much. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, I'm, um, I'm stirred by how many times the Proverbs talk about our mouths, and I am also convicted by that. Lord, we want to be people who pour out joy and kindness and empathy and encouragement with our tongues. We want to pour out life like a fountain, as a proverb, um, the one who wrote the proverb said. Um, we don't want to stir up fights. We want to be people who are forgiving and loving. And Lord, I pray for the person today who's hurting because they have been broken by somebody else and they're struggling to forgive and they are battling hatred in their hearts toward somebody. And Lord, this is not a light thing. This is something deep, especially if the wound goes all the way down to our core. Um, if someone has hurt us way down to our um, worth and where we feel our sense of self is. And Lord, I know that um, that journey of forgiveness looks different on everyone. And so Lord, I would never prescribe how to do that. But Lord, you can. You can lead us toward um, a forgiving heart. You can lead us to be healed from the pain that someone else has inflicted on others. And Lord, I pray that we wouldn't become like those who have harmed us, but instead we would look to them as cautionary tales of how not to be because we understand how deeply wounding it is to be treated that way. And so Lord, um, help us to keep a trap over our mouths so that we're not spreading strife and also help us to bless others, to be something positive with our words today. Um, Lord, help us to speak blessings over our children in their presence. Help us to speak blessings over our parents in their presence. Help us to speak blessings over our friendships in their presence. Help us to speak blessings of our leaders in our church and people that we work with um, in their presence. Tell, Help us to tell someone something really um, that shows that we have actually paid attention to them and noticed them. Lord, um, this one, uh, this verse 17 really uh, caught me today. Anyone who pays attention to correction shows the path to life, but anyone who refuses to be corrected leads others down the wrong path. And so Lord, if, um, if we pay attention to your correction, we will see that pathway of life. You will show us what the next step is. But if we don't heed correction, it says that not only are we going to go down the wrong path, but we are going to lead others down that wrong path. And Lord, we don't want to do that. We want to be on the correct path and we do not want to deceive others. So would you shed light, holy light on us today? Help us to know where our pathway is crooked. Help us to know when we should be trusting you more. Help us to know when we have um, a wrong a way of thinking about something, about your word, about something um, in this world that we're uh, maybe participating in. Maybe, Lord, we're not looking and dwelling on things that are lovely, pure, and good. Um, maybe we're, our minds are occupied with things that are filthy or wrong or um, anti-you. So, Lord, would you just clean house today? We give you permission to search our hearts and to know us and to show us those places of darkness that need light shed on them. Lord, we want to be wise people who store up knowledge. 
We don't want to have the mouth of fools that destroys them. Um, we want to do right. We want to earn life in the sense of knowing that doing right is going to bring life to our bones. Lord, I love verse 16. It says, sinners earn sin and death. And that's so very close to the wages of sin is death. And I love how your, your word so beautifully parallels itself over and over and over again. So thank you for that. And help us to fall in love with your word today. Give us the wisdom we need because we know that it comes from you and your word. I pray all this in Jesus name. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. Um, did you know there's an app for this? You can uh, get it on iTunes or Google Play, and it's amazing. And not only that, you get a free uh, devotional in written form every single day of the year. So uh, don't miss an episode and get the Pray Every Day app. It's absolutely free.